Welcome back everybody. Today is Sunday, August 4th. Time for another Buoy 10 update. However, not from Buoy 10. Like I mentioned yesterday, I was out in the ocean again. And look at this, look at, I gotta show you this. Look how beautiful of a day it is down here. Just absolutely grease calm, incoming tide right now. Beautiful day out here in Astoria. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. But uh, the ocean was actually a little bit lumpier today than it was yesterday, even though it's super nice and calm in here. It uh, wasn't too windy out there, but it was just a mixed swell. It's just we call it a washing machine. It just kind of throws you every which direction. And what I always tell you guys every single year when I do these updates is that this information will not help you out tomorrow. It just won't, especially on tide sets like we have right now, where we're having seven to nine foot exchanges. And so those fish move with that four to five mile an hour current a long ways very quickly. So yesterday we absolutely mopped them up on the green line uh, around buoy three. And today it was scratch fishing there. Uh, I started out by running north, trying to find some schnook, no dice, found a good rip, found some birds, got a couple of keeper coho. Uh, the coho grade were great today. They were really nice, good, good looking fish but didn't find any kings, heard of a few kings, not a lot. The reports from the river, it's not the best tide set right now for kings, but as we get later on in the week, they should start showing up, fingers crossed, hopefully. We're not seeing a ton of kings out there in the ocean, so I'm a little bit leery about this next tide set, but maybe they're just down deep and uh, they're gonna come in as the tide starts to get smaller. But again, this information will not help you. It changes so quickly out here, especially once we get in the river. So just keep that in mind that every six to eight hours, these fish move miles, miles. So today we had to keep on bouncing around to find them. We ended up getting just barely scratch fish and getting all of our fish. Uh, again, all coho, nothing too spectacular, but it's good enough. You know, we're, we're having a good time. I really like fishing in the river because it's more technical, but we just haven't had the best tides yet. And I'm really looking forward to fishing inside here, but it's hard to not go out in the ocean when the ocean's beautiful. Even when it was a little sloppy there today, it's still been really nice out there. And the fishing is that good. It wasn't like yesterday, but it was still good enough for us to get our fish. And I don't know, I'm gonna be hard pressed to not keep going out in the ocean because we're getting closer to filling our quota. And once that quota's done, the ocean is gonna shut down and we're gonna be stuck in the river. So we might just need to wait till there's a few more fish in the river. I know the guys down at Bowie 10 are catching right now and it's those fish are just flushing in and out through the channel. Um, so it's it's good. I mean, heck, we're, we're having a great time and I'm really, really hoping that those kings show up as the tides begin to get smaller here later on this week. Probably starting around Tuesday, Wednesday is what I'm guessing. But again, we'll see. As far as gear today, um, it really didn't seem to matter. Yesterday that white spinner was working really good and Misty River, always works. That's one of my best spinning fish is just that misty river out in the ocean. Uh, I am getting a lot of questions still about the uh, dancing stinger, the dual dancing stinger hooks. They are two aught. They're from owner. It's a tuna style hook and they use it for on top of your tuna jigs. I just like it because the fish out in the ocean are slashing at your gear and those hooks are designed for tuna slashing at the jigs as we're moving quickly through the water column. And so it's an owner dual dancing stinger two aught and I use a two aught for and then they're the juniors the short length and uh, I use the two aught for my 3.5 spinners and my spin fish size 2.0 and 2.5 when I go to 3.0 spinning fish then I run a three aught dual dance stinger so there's that for you hopefully that answers a few of your questions right now I'm gonna head back in there's really not much to tell you guys because the river is kind of meh guys are down to buoy 10 they're catching coho a couple kings we're all just kind of waiting. Uh, boy, there's a lot of grass in the river. I don't like that. I don't like the water temp. I don't like the, all the grass in here. We might be fishing down below the bridge a lot here this season. We're gonna find out. But yeah, there's really not much to talk about here quite yet. I got a lot of boat to clean up from all the coho blood and carnage. And I'm gonna kick back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful day. It is, man, I love the coast when it's like this. It's just gorgeous. All right, time for me to tuck in around the tip here, get back in the harbor, clean up this boat, and go Sunday. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.